Hello, everybody. I'm Blazing Rebecca. I made almost and all welcome... the dishes myself. And welcome back to Seduce Me the Yatome. Humorously enough, Matthew looked at him with shocked expression as if he was betrayed. His face changed on the And I'm back. the Queen of the Nile. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Me, you, and James did the work together, dummy. It's you, James, and I, Matthew. Does that change the fact that he made that up? <laughs> Little boys will always make mistakes. Matthew looked at James in disbelief, probably signed, signed with Eric, and he soon annoyingly swiveled back to Eric to confront him. I'm not a little boy. I'm barely a year younger than you. Wow. Well, you certainly don't act like it. Jeez. <laughs> I really can not help but laugh. Matthew seemed very much like a kid. He was adorable. However, I couldn't help but feel like, in a way, he was much more mature than the others, especially Eric. Huh? Is something funny? Oh. <laughs> no, it's nothing at all. Thank you for the meal, all of you. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome, miss. Such a well-mannered young lady. Beautiful inside and out. Oh, I'm sure you'll say that about all girls, okay? Eric, knock it off! Yes, thank you! Thank you, Matthew! <laughs> and real Matthew, Sam cocked up his hand and glared at Eric. Seriously. You're getting really annoying with that suck-up act. Ha, <laughs> burn! <laughs> it was obvious that Sam had the, was the bad boy of the group. He had this big, tough act and was obvious he was physically stronger than the rest of the guys. But was there more to him than that? I'm just trying to be a gentleman. The young girl has already gone through so much. She deserves a good treatment. Right. Yeah. There's a difference between being a gentleman and being an obnoxious flirt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Schooled even by James. You're gonna need some cold water for that burn. <laughs> yes, I strongly agree, Matthew. <laughs> oh, burn, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah, I forgot that there were like five of these guys. By the way, I don't believe we caught your name even though you know each of us. Ah, I'm Rebecca. It's a pleasure to finally know your name. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice name. <laughs> Why am I... They were all comfortable around me despite the awkward situation we were in. It was as if it were natural for them to be around humans. I guess that's just how Incubi work. Now, I'm still curious about one thing. Excuse me. All at once they looked at me. I don't know why, but having them so look at me made me kind of feel important. Like a queen or something. What is it, miss? I want to thank you for the food, but I still want to know why you all came here. I feel like I don't quite understand. Understand? Yeah, like being told a bunch of Incubi randomly appearing in your house was perfectly understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Voice of reason. Oh, um, how do we explain? Yes, how do you guys explain? We were attacked. We came here to heal. What's so difficult to understand? Well, yeah, but th I think that's the whole point of why were you were were you fighting in the first place. Now you're just being rude, Sam. Yes, I agree. Thank you. I'm just saying, how is that difficult to understand? Can you just kick him out, please? No, I mean, what specifically happened? Well, you see, we've been traveling around for quite some time now. Just recently, we came into town, but we were jumped by this band of... misfits. So, in order to escape and heal, we came here for shelter. Again, we apologize for the mess we made. It's fine, I guess. So you're all better now, right? Yep, all thanks to you. <clears throat> All thanks to what? Me. Huh, me? You see, beautiful. Oh, God. We feed on sexual energy. Oh, don't say and that don't word. Just get it from kissing lovely ladies such as yourself. We can simply That's touch not awkward or nothing. To sexual energy. Everyone carries Shut sexual up. Energy oh, now. my God. I don't care. I don't want to hear that kind of word. I was still in shock about their powers. It wasn't just kisses that gave them power, it was anything physical. No wonder I was out for a while. These incubi intrigued me, but at the same time, I can almost hear a warning siren going off in my head. Alert! Alert! Do not get involved with these guys! Is there anything else you wish to know? 
Well, what do you all plan to do now? Yeah, what are we gonna do now, James? Yeah! That is a very good question. We just got here and surely we'll be hunted again if we leave. True. We can take him easily. Yeah, that's why you end up getting hurt and having to be here, right? Not without more training, Sam. The result of that was clearly evident in our last <clears throat> encounter with them. At the moment, I didn't know what came over me, but I suddenly felt sorry for them. They couldn't possibly survive out there. If they didn't know it was illegal to break into people's homes, they probably don't know a bunch of other stuff. They probably cause chaos all over town. <clears throat> Or on the flip side, they could be taken in for questioning and be poked and prodded at like lab frogs for research. That was even worse. But most of all, they reminded me of back then. Back then? I was standing alone. The entire classroom was full of laughter and chat, but I stood in the midst of it, quiet and alone. It's strange seeing the whole class pass in front of me with such vibrancy, all while I stood there. On the plus side, I wasn't engaged in any of the drama that might have been. I was in, like scribbling on someone's paper for revenge or kicking someone too hard. It was kind of nice just standing there and watching things pass by and like go on. I had long before convinced myself that I prefer being alone. I'm, I often said to myself in current point, yeah, I want to be alone. There's no one on like better than me, so I gotta spend more time with myself. Okay, I'll stop right here, but I'll be back. See ya!